Hi, welcome to SBR Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. This is our uh, daily NBA playoffs preview show that we've been doing with Troy West from AllPlaysWin.com. Today is Thursday, April 30th, and Troy West came through with us again last night with another winner. The line was tight, though. Troy West, thanks for being back with us. Hey, thanks, Pete. I appreciate it. Yeah, a couple of tight ones. You know, Atlanta yeah. wins by 10, covers by a half, and uh, Memphis covers by a half. But nonetheless, hey, I thought Atlanta would win by about 10, and I thought Memphis would win by about 7. So we feel good about it. Had another sweep at all plays win. Just having a hell of a run again here, Pete. Well, congratulations for you, and we always like to, uh, you know, call out people for excellence when they achieve it, and maybe today we're going to call out uh, Vegas, right? I mean, they're nailing it, right? The uh, the Memphis game, the, the line was 5.5 or 6. They win by 6. The total was 190.5. I think it landed on 192. The Nets game, line was a 9 or 9.5, lands on 10. The total was 204 uh, or 200.5 or 201, it lands on 204. Maybe these lines are getting too tight to find edges anymore. What do you think, Trey? Well, you bring up a good point, Pete. When you only have two games on the card, you know, and these series are getting to a closeout in Vegas, it's had the opportunity to see these teams play four or five, six times. You know, they, they can crunch these numbers and really look at matchups and, and come out with a really quality line. So, absolutely, it gets tougher as these series gets deeper and less games on the card. So, absolutely, as a gambler out there, be, be very cautious. None yeah. of these plays are, are huge plays or locks. They get tough lines here at this point. All right. Well, we got two games tonight. We'll see what you have to say about first one, Chicago and Milwaukee. Chicago now, you know, Milwaukee's won two in a row. Chicago is still a quality team. But, you know, after two straight uh, wins, Milwaukee is again a home dog. Right now I'm seeing three and a half. Total is 187 or 187 and a half. And, you know, Michael Carter-Williams outplayed Derrick Rose in game five. And, uh, you know, the question is, has Milwaukee turned some kind of corner? If they have, then getting them as a home underdog, this is just like the uh, the Nets and Atlanta series. Or is Chicago going to uh, get it together here and maybe pull out a decisive win in game six? Tough line, tough handicapping situation. What do you think, Troy? Yeah, this is actually going to be another official pick for me. Really? Let's keep okay. the ball rolling. Let's let's keep the train rolling. We've been hot as of late. I'm going with Chicago. I, okay. I think it's, you know, Pete, it's really, really tough to beat a team three times in a row. It's even tougher when you're the weaker of the two teams. I do know they're at home. I do know they have some momentum going on. They have a little bit of mojo going on. But I do think with the veterans that Chicago has, Tom Thibodeau is one of the better coaches in this league. I think the Bulls have a big, big game here. They don't want this thing to go to seven. I think three and a half is too low of a number. I think Chicago gets it done. Like I said, this is the better team going into the playoffs. This is the better team going into the series. I think they got complacent a little bit with that early 3-0 lead. They get it done. They'll take the lead. They'll win the series. Three and a half as a road favorite. You're not afraid of that line. I mean, uh, you know, why is it that Milwaukee is suddenly uh, beating Chicago? Michael Carter-Williams playing so well. Is that a fluke? I, I don't want to call it a fluke, but I just think that the Bulls really did get complacent. You know, teams that, that, that get up 3-0, they really get into relax mode sometimes. Uh, these veterans will be ready to go tonight. It's a big, big game. Like I said, they don't want this thing to go back to a 7 and have a game where anything can really happen in a game 7. Chicago will get it done tonight, and I think they'll get it done in Milwaukee. I like the veterans. As I said, Pete, veterans will step up in a big, big game. Chicago will get it done tonight. All right, minus three and a half. That's an official pick from Troy West. Me personally, way too scared of that game. I'm going to pass on that one completely. Clippers and Spurs, though, you know, the Spurs, awesome, right? Great coach team. Tim Duncan, 39 years old, just playing phenomenally well. Kawhi Leonard, awesome. They're up 3-2, but... Giving five and a half points to the Clippers. I mean, these guys have played five times. There was one game where the Spurs blew them out, but the other four games, you know, the Clippers either won or they went down to the wire. Uh, you know, unless we see a repeat of that, you know, an anomalous game where uh, the Spurs blew out the Clippers, I'm thinking the Clippers getting five and a half points. I mean, I could easily see this one going down to the wire. Five and a half is a lot of points here. Why do we not want the Clippers here, Troy? Yeah, no, I agree, Peter. This has been kind of a flip-flop series. You know, one game, it's, it's been very bipolar. The Clippers come away with the game, then the Spurs come away with the game. It just keeps going back and forth. But as I said in the last video with this game, to me, it's just the past. These two mm -hmm. teams have, have shown that either team can win by double digits. We know the Spurs got a game by 27 in San Antonio, and we know the Clippers got a game by nine in San Antonio. So it's just a very, very bipolar series. Mm -hmm. To me, it's a complete pass. 
I would think you just have to just stay away. Just stay away. It's too tough to tell what's going to be happening. And then this one, um, I, it's a pass for me. All right. See, I, I bet the Clippers small or moderately at plus five and a half on the overnight. The line hasn't moved uh, since then. Uh, you're not attracted to the Clippers getting that many points? You know, I, I could see it, P. I do think in the end this is going to be a close game. Do or die here for the Clippers. And if they're able to push a game seven at home, I think that they're going to have a really, really good chance of closing out this series. But, man, really tough place to play. We know that these Spurs can knock down a hell of a lot of shots at any given time, especially at home. Tough one here. We'll see what happens. Will the veterans pull it out again with San Antonio or or will the young firepower of the Clippers be able to hang tight? That to me is a mystery at this point. So it's a pass. But if I had to do it, I had to do it, I would go with the Clippers. Right. All right. Well, Duncan's awesome. Leonard's awesome. Popovich, freaking awesome. But I'm going to be on the Clippers plus five and a half. I did bet that one, and that's official. So I'm on Clippers plus five and a half. Troy Westlake in Chicago, minus three and a half. Tough, uh, tough NBA uh, lines here, Troy West. Thanks so much. We'll talk to you again tomorrow. 